Hello, 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 all you wonderful, beautiful people. Welcome to Gang Treasures. My name's Renee, and today, along, again, I'm alone, um, but usually sometimes Romand is with me. Uh, I have two places that I really want to go, but I think one is going to be more busy because it's Monday. So instead of heading north, we're going to head south. I'm gonna go back down to the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store um, down toward, I think it's actually in LeMay. And um, I went there, gosh, was it July, August of last year? And did really well. They have nice prices much better prices than what we're seeing at GW in the area and hoping that I have the same kind of luck. If you're new to the channel, welcome again. My family and I go on what we call thrifting adventures. Uh, mostly we are on the search for vintage, mid-century modern, antique. My niche is wood furniture. <laughs> Although I don't do much of it, it doesn't resell very well on eBay. Um, although now that I, let me change hands here. Now that I'm in a bigger city, I might start doing that and using um, Facebook Marketplace. But that's all going to have to wait until after we move. If you've watched the channel some, you know that we have a house. We have a closing date now. Um, 30 days from now, we will be in the new house unless she's not willing to fix a couple of really important things. Like the water line coming into the house is crimped and the sewage line going out of the house has a crack. So those two things really kind of need to be fixed. There's a lot of little tiny things that um, we can do and we're gonna put up a fence. And let me know in the comments if you would like part of a video I can tour the house with you um, before we put all the furniture in it. But uh, as I've talked about before in videos, what people are buying has changed. So the things that I bought two years ago because I like them, because they were cute, doesn't work anymore. So my goal is to find things that has a good sell-through rate, like that um, firefighter's backpack that I found by accident, which was just a blessing. So let's head to LeMay and head to St. Vincent de Paul thrift store and see if we can find some treasure. I will see you there in the blink of an eye. We are going to start in the furniture. I think these are definitely some 70s chairs with that crushed yellow velvet. This is either a TV stand or a wardrobe. This is a desk that is solid wood, this one's solid wood. This one with this kind of top is particle board. This is 70s. It has that fake wood, like all the stuff on the door is plastic. It's not real wood. I mean, inside the doors is wood. Um, this is solid wood with a leather inlay. Looks like an oak or at least a medium oak um, stain on it. And this one I actually like the light better than I liked the desk. <laughs> and this is a beautiful piece with a mahogany stain on it. I do believe it is hardwood. I liked the handles that they were so contemporary it would be a nice piece um, to up cycle I would kind of thought I would like to have it in my house um, those two desks are hardwood this is part of a bed I believe it is the headboard for a bed and should be turned around beautiful little curio cabinet with the beveled glass and is a nice oak color this is particle board this is solid, has this beautiful glass on it. Oh, very nice. An open back would be, it would have been a, a TV stand. 
And it's $50 for solid wood. That's probably a pretty good buy. This one is more of a curio cabinet. Not a curio cabinet. Would you uh, you'd put it in your dining room and put all your dishes in to show them off. This is a beautiful black lacquer end table. There was two of them, but they're just kind of beat up. And I can't handle that stuff on the front. That fake plastic resiny stuff. Um, they have lots of end tables. They have lots of coffee tables. None of which that I know that I have a need of. And I'm so sorry my hand is on the cart. And that's why it's shaking. I apologize for any of you that that absolutely bothers. Um, I am going to go through and take a look at the furniture. And there was the two green matching chairs, two gray matching chairs. Either of those would be nice in the house. I want to look at their prices too. If there's a possibility. $40. That's not bad. I don't know that it's a real popular color. But my thoughts are... If their furniture prices are cheap enough, maybe that would be something else that I could start flipping on Facebook Marketplace. It's a cute little blue one. There's a plaid one. There's a crushed velvet one. That one's probably from the 70s. Again, more coffee tables. Oh, that looks like it's walnut with a dark stain. Oh my gosh, it's got so many scratches on it. Let's see. Oh, it's a little... More damage than I thought. The drawers don't come out very evenly. It is a very nice piece of furniture. There are more couches than I thought. I think when I was here last time, they had a bar height of table and chairs. And some of these designs are not popular anymore, these fabric patterns. This one's not bad just because it's big flowers and it's lots of colors. Not this one, the one before. Um, if I knew how much room I had in the sunroom. I know everybody has different tastes. Maybe you know I like the lighter one. Let me know. And there's a, a couch that's a lighter color. Brown crushed velvet. Green chair. Plaid. That would almost be a couch. Almost a love seat. Um, I would never personally have a white couch in my house because I have dogs. Although I like that because it's bright. I think with the house we have now, we can use a little more color. This one's more of a gold with flowers. But let's go check out the hard goods. Start way over here on the end. Looks like we're going to go into toys. And we have stuffed animals. But they don't have very many. And what I found is usually it's the larger. Oh, a big doggy chair. Um, it's usually the larger pieces that sell really well. There's a giraffe and a Minnie Mouse and a Tigger, but he's a little Tigger. Now, if I could have got the bigger Tigger for five bucks, I probably would have got it. There's a whale and a mermaid. What is that? It's... Oh, it's like a lap pillow. Oh, I see. You set the kid down and open it up on their lap and they have a place to put their cup. Oh, it might have been a cabbage patch. I probably should have looked at him. Oh, it's a Liberty. Oh, it's a Liberty. Oh, this horsey sells well. Not, I don't think this little size sells well, but the bigger ones sell quite well. I think I've bought and picked up two of them and sold both of them the bigger one sells really well they have to have the saddle that says liberty this one actually has the tag so i'm gonna look him up and see but before i do that i'm gonna look at this moose or reindeer christmas oh moose with alaska he's a souvenir piece a little puppy a little tiny little tiny tiny giraffe a little lion. That giraffe's probably going to end up in my cart. I happen to know somebody that collects giraffes. It's a cute little bear, but it's not made by any special company. I look for 
the dandy collectors and then you still have to look it up even if you find one that's a dandy and ooh, this one's a winnie the pooh which would, could be on a poo tag could be on a walt disney tag but i looked him up and he's not worth picking up i hope i remembered to put what i looked up and found on the on the picture back there and this is just falling off no nope. i also look for build bears this is old i can tell it's old aha uh -huh. germany but there's only one and plates like that don't sell very well something industries these are cute but i bet you i can tell by the colors they are contemporary if I could turn it around so I could read it. Oh, Mikasa. If there was a whole set, I would be tempted to buy them for myself. A blue willow, but it's only the sugar bowl. I would want to pick up the sugar bowl and the creamer together. Now there's some that has more of all the pieces. And I bet this is Mikasa too. This is almost like the set in the Airbnb. Nope, it's Fairfield. I thought for sure it was Mikasa. Look like they might have some age, but I don't know that maker's mark. And there's only two of them. And look at these. These are in the wrong place. Why are these up here? Except there's two of them, not three of them. They all need to go down here because if somebody wants to buy the whole set, they want to see them all together. That one is nothing spectacular, nothing fancy. These look like they might have some age to them. But they just have numbers. No maker's mark. Except for the numbers. And I could have looked up the numbers. Hmm. Would you use it as a planter? Strawberry Street. Or a mixie bowl. I think I'd use it as a planter. This looks like it might have some age also. And I can't read the back. Still can't read the back, even with my glasses on. These are cute. They have all kinds of different birds on them. Is that a chip? Okay, no, it's not a chip. That's the way it was painted. Oh, the Wildlife Federation. Hmm. I'm going to consider those kind of like collector's plates. Probably not worth a whole lot of money. Oh. Is that contemporary or is it from Italy? What do you think? Italy. Frutta de Roma. It's really nice. It's pretty. I wish I had some place for it. Oh, little birdies. From casuals. Oh, I thought it was going to be glass. It's plastic. That was disappointing. Really disappointing. These glasses are shiny. They sound like crystal. But there's only three. And it's really hard to sell clear glass. Even if they're shiny like that. I guess I could put a different color in my light box. Oh, <gasps> look. A cup about coffee. But there's no price tag. I wonder if they'll price it for me at the register. Oh look, more glasses like the those over there, except these are rounder. These are wine glasses. And another coffee cup. Oh, 75 cents. Ding! Or cha-ching. 75 cents. That's what coffee cups should be selling for. Not $5.99. And when I look at coffee cups, I am looking for pottery mugs. I'm looking for something that's unusual. Something that is a very a popular show. A popular meme. A popular character. Um, let's check the top. Sometimes Christmas mugs can sell well, probably. You know, Christmas sells all year round. But a Christmas mug like that, I would probably want to pick up more in 
October. I'm just not seeing anything fancy. Oh, look. You know, I have one of these. I'm going to get this one. No, I have two. And then I can have coffee. More Christmas. Hershey's. Valentine's Day. Easy place to come and find a mug and fill it up with candy or something and make a quick gift for somebody. When they're 75 cents. Well, I think those are false craft. But I didn't even look to make sure. That's really thin. Those are nice. But they are contemporary. And there's four of them, which makes it nice. But I don't think it's going to be worth me buying them. This looks like it might have some age. International Tableware. Gonna leave it on the shelf. There is a sugar bowl for Camelot. And I think it also has, it's the sugar and the creamer. And this is from Christopher whatever the last name was. Sorry. I didn't read it well. Let's head on to the frames because none of those plates or dishes were worth picking up. These would be really cute in a little boy's room. Or a little girl's room if they like trains and planes and cars and all that kind of stuff. And I dropped it. So I had to figure out how to get it back in the wire rack because it didn't have a bar across the bottom to hold it. It was just two wire racks on the side so that one's just gonna go down there on the floor because i'm not gonna try and put it up there and have it fall again it actually made a thud and somebody in the next house like <gasps> i thought you have to expect to hear sounds that was a monet print and i don't know a lot about artwork i know we've talked about it before um Pretty flowers. Caramel sugar cookies. Um, if I would could find something that was an original painted, I would look it up. But most of these are very contemporary, mass produced, and those don't have much sale value. Another print. They even had material. Um, blankets, drapes, fleece blankets, sheets. Now, the one thing about St. Vincent de Paul, if you are in need, they will give you a bed. I believe it's a bed, a sheet set, and pillows. I had to come back out to the car. My phone is dying. I don't know, oh, this phone. I've been having some trouble with my phone lately. It doesn't keep a charge. Like it's been on the charger all night long. I get up and it's at like 67%. Or I go someplace, haven't used the phone. I pick it up and it's at 82%. I get up and I use the phone for half an hour and all of a sudden it's at 22%. So I don't know what's going on. But so what I'm going to do is I think I'm gonna have enough footage to be able to do a part two. So this will be the end of part one, and I almost need my sunglasses. This will be the end of part one. And you know that we are at somewhere in the mid 90s for subscribers. And when we hit 100, we're gonna drop our first merch. Uh, t-shirts and um, shopping bags is I think what we're gonna do what we're gonna do first since it's springtime here and thank you for coming along we appreciate each and every one of you I don't I try to say it every video and sometimes I forget and sometimes I use the stickers let me know in the comments if you prefer the stickers or if you would prefer for me to say it um, but please leave a comment let me know if I missed anything 
we love reading your comments we learn from them um, some of that furniture was usable recyclable upcyclable <laughs> But thank you for coming along for part one. And remember, as always, that you're blessed to be a blessing. So go out and make today a great day and hang around for part two.